So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, Mano. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, of course not. A, a lot of women keep their own name now. And don't forget, it's the bride's family that usually foots the bill, so I've just been thinking about the best way to pitch it to my dad. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are gonna think I married you for your money. No, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bod. Julia. Hey. Money thing's not a big deal, really. I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. How long have you been keeping this a secret from your closest family member, slash best friend, slash trusted confidant, slash unofficial life coach and financial advisor? Been thinking about it for months, actually. It sounds kind of dumb now, but I didn't know if I was rushing things. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro. 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 Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still. We're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> huh. 
You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Then what? Superstition? Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was raised on this shit, and it sticks. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's OK. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Ah, oh, great, blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat, horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire.
You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. The others can get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> Shit. That's no good. Come on.
really good little lady. What's happening? Can you see? God, Julia. They're beating the piss out of Conrad. <sighs> we gotta get out of here. <sighs> what are they talking about? Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. Why are they so interested in Fliss? Because she's the captain. So what? They want to figure out if anyone knows we're out here. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it.
shit. Go, Granny, now. <laughs> Stay close. We've got to help Conrad. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. What a cork in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sit 
Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. No. They're talking to you. Just, please, take the gun off of us. It's making everybody nervous, and nervous people do stupid things. You don't want blood on your hands, do you? What the hell is going on, Alex? Julia, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, but it seems very possible nothing else is. Hey, that's enough. No talking. They sent summer camp. Couldn't talk at summer camp either. And? What do you want? Listen, I know things just got out of hand for you guys. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> I mean, this can't be normal for you either, right? Not looking to hurt nobody. Just need money. But now, my brother's got his eyes on that gold. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? One of you says yes, and one of you says no. If you could learn to work together, then things might turn out more beneficially. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. The 
porte La porte Vite, la porte Junior, je retire la tête de l'image. not sign up for a trip to creep down. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Pourquoi on se tire pas d'ici? Je préférerais être n'importe où ici. J'ai plus vraiment envie de savoir ce qu'on va découvrir là. On continue. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Son, you're in port, you see? Okay, all of you, into the room.
hell is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. You gonna write a book about it? Give him a break, Fliss. He needs one. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, we gotta stay sharp and keep our eyes out for the right moment. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? No, you can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. What happened here? I wonder what happened. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure... Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a yen. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on, a bona fide ghost ship. Real, real creepy. All right, boss man. What's the plan? I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. Hey, keep your eyes peeled for another uh, opportunity. You feel me? I wonder why this was ripped off. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Yeah, I mean, homeboy was probably just going a little nuts being away from his girl for so long. Heck, that'd make me start seeing things too. Julia found something. I mean, I would take a look.
get it off. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Quelqu'un, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charme. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler, et là on se retrouve coincé. Any luck? I can't get it open. it open. Freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where an event like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Hey! Yeah, you, Long John Silver and shit. Well, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. Yeah, you smarmy varmints. Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate parrots off your shoulders and stop them into rainbow colors. I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want yeah. my president coming yeah. after you guys? Because he will. You. Each and every one of you, personally. Very, very personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? There's gotta be some stairs around here.
Where's the you are here arrow? of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the gap back. Well, that's a lot of people who are suspiciously nowhere to be found. I wonder where everyone went. Hello?
There's someone down there, all right. Shh. Everyone quiet. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Why do I need to see this now? with this place. 
place. I'm telling you, we hit an iceberg, we're going down. We've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Jesus! God! Alex? What is it? Ugh. See for yourself. According to this, today is beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Alex, you don't want to end up hurting the wrong person with that. You should just put it down. Mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Please, relax. I'm just messing around. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. something. He was moving in the shadows. Julia, just try to get a grip. Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that. But do the ghosts know that? Okay, listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. What is this? Well, that's weird. All this space? How is this any weirder than anything else we've seen today? Why would they have such a... Hey, 
We got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Will you please hurry? Please? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's the matter? Shh. <gasps> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Spick and span. What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. What? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Any medicine we find in here is going to be old. Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where do you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? gone on ahead.
Hey, are you sure you know where we're going? Fliss? Uh, Fliss? Hello? Fliss? Fliss? Where'd you go? Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Hey. Fliss, hey, where were you? Gotta get out.